If you get stuck on the tarmac, most major airlines have a four hours and your out clause. But that is not the case for smaller carriers. 47 passengers on a nightmarish flight from Houston to Minneapolis found that out the hard way. CBS's Susan Roberts is in Washington with the details. Good morning, Susan. Harry, good morning to you. Well, there are tarmac delays, and then there's what happened to the passengers on this continental flight. Friday night, 9.30, Continental Flight 2816, a plane similar to this one, departs Houston on time. A routine takeoff for the three-hour flight to Minneapolis. But around midnight, the pilot makes an announcement. The pilot said there were storms and we couldn't land and that they had to go to Rochester, Minnesota to refuel. And that's when the nightmare began. They sat there all night. 47 passengers stranded on the Rochester runway for over nine hours. They say they were served no food, just one can of soda, and then the toilets broke down. You're almost numb because you're so exhausted, so you kind of doze off, but you can't really sleep because babies are crying and the smells are getting worse. Express Jet operating for Continental says the passengers could not get off because the security screeners had gone home for the night. Saturday morning, 9 a.m., the Continental flight finally deplanes. Everybody just went out to the Continental uh, counter and they were emotional and they were screaming and they were yelling. But their ordeal was not over. The passengers waited two more hours before boarding the same plane for the final leg of their 14 hour trip. Express Jet issued an apology saying staff and crew were ensuring safety and following federal regulations. We will fully investigate the issue since this does not meet our standards for customer service. And Express Jet says only adding to the delay, the crew had worked their maximum number of hours, so they passengers had to wait while a new crew was brought in. Test of patience. Debbie? Unbelievable. CBS's Susan Roberts, thank you so much.